following three weeks have been the hardest period of my life. Started off in uh, in Qatar. I got violent food poison. Camera taken away at the airport. Get to my hotel. You know, think, it's, it's just little things here and there. Things are showing up. We misscheduled. Next day got alcohol poisoning. Our luggage was delayed, so we, we had no clothes to get to our events. Qatar was the first time I felt the wrath of God. And if you think he's the only one that has marked God and faced God's wrath, you'd be very mistaken. Brazil, of her friends and she said to the daughter holding her hand who was reportedly already seated in the car she said this my daughter go with god and may he protect you the daughter responded only if god travels in the trunk because inside here it is already full hours later the news came that they had been involved in a fatal accident and everyone had died. The car they were traveling in could not even be recognized as what type of car it had been, but surprisingly, the trunk was intact. The police said there is no way the trunk could have remained intact. To their surprise, inside the trunk was a crate of eggs and none of them broke. That right there is wild. I mean, how prideful and ignorant do you have to be to disrespect the story in the Bible of this foolish king who taught himself as God? This is the king of Tyre in Ezekiel 28. This is what the word says. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the ruler of Tyre, this is what the sovereign Lord says. In the pride of your heart, you say, I am a God. I sit on the throne of a God in the heart of the seas. But you are a mere mortal and not a God. Though you think you are as wise as God. Want to know what happened to this arrogant, prideful king? God dashed him to pieces. He destroyed his pride and brought him foreigners who killed him and destroyed a very shameful and a violent death. And the word of the Lord says this about him in verse 9. Amen. Mere channel ko subscribe kije, like kije, share kije, aur aapke prayer guest ko comment box mein likhiye. Amen. Hello, aapne jo yeh video dekha hai, is mein prabhu ka majak ura ja raha hai. तो बाइबल में लिखा है कि प्रभु का मजाक मत उड़ाओ और हमने वीडियो में देखा है जो लोग प्रभु का मजाक उड़ाया है उन वो लोग मर गए हैं तो इसलिए प्रभु का मजाक नहीं उड़ाना चाहिए